Hello! How are you? Welcome to Braintune YouTube channel. I am your friend, the TechTune. So, let's get started. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Braintune channel. Today, we will start with the third part of the competitive programming tutorials. In this part, we will solve a competitive programming problem based on our last video, which was working with numbers in C++. The name of our first problem is the word algorithm problem. We will solve the famous CSES problem set in our tutorials. The CSES problem set provides a collection of problems that can be used to practice competitive programming. The problems have been arranged in order of difficulty on the website and all techniques needed for solving the problems will be discussed in our tutorials. We will also try to solve the famous problems of code forces, code chef, etc. in this series. Now, let us see how to solve the first problem in the problem set called the weird algorithm problem. The problem statement is as shown. We have an algorithm that takes as input a positive integer n. So, basically, an input number is given. Now, the question says, if n is even, then the algorithm divides it by 2, and if n is odd, then algorithm multiplies it by 3 and adds 1 to it. So, these are the two conditions given for n. Thus, it depends on what is input, whether it is even or odd, and the required process will take place. Now, note the fifth line. The algorithm repeats this whole process until n is 1. So, the process of multiplying n by 2 or multiplying n by 3 and then adding 1 will keep on taking place till n becomes 1. For example, the sequence for n is equal to 3 is as shown. First, we have 3 and it is odd, so we multiply it by 2 and add 1 to it. And we get 10 and as 10 is even, we divide it by 2 and get 5. And thus similarly, we get 16, and then 8, and then 4, and 2, and finally 1. Similarly, we have to write code to print the series for any general n. As shown, the input line will contain integer n. Output will contain the shown series for any general n. Carefully note the constraints of n as shown. This constraints is very important, and this constraints is the point that we have to understand through this problem. This is the working with numbers in C++. Here maximum value of n can be 10 to the power 6. Let's understand the effect of this point on our code. So let's move to the coding part. So we include our header file in line 1. The code first reads in the input number n. So we declare the input n in line 6. We declare the type of number n as long long here. Now understand this point very carefully. If you use int type here instead of the long long type then it will give wrong answer and time limit exceeded errors will come too that is why i told you to take note of the constraints in the starting at the compiled time when the algorithm is in process a point will come when input n will exceed the upper limit of the int variable. 
so if you use int, then it will give wrong result. That is why, in last video, I showed you the rule of long long and working with numbers in C++. This is very important. I will show you this by using in type at last of the video too. We use C in function to read the input. Now we use a while loop in line 11 to generate the output. Thus while loop processes the algorithm and prints the value of n after each step. Thus the whole series gets printed. The line 13 of the code prints the value of n after each step. So whole series will get printed. And the line 14 checks if n has become 1 and if n has become 1 then we will stop as told in the question. So we implement a break statement in line 14 there. Now line 15 checks if n is even through the if statement. And if it is even then it divides n by 2 as told in the question. Line 16 implements the process for n if it is odd. So thus line 16 multiplies n by 3 and adds 1 to it. And this process will occur till n is 1 which is checked by line 14. And also after every turn of loop execution n is printed as shown in line 13. So the whole series will be printed and this is the task we have to do. It is easy to test that the algorithm is correct by the example of n is equal to 3 given in the problem statement. Now let's submit the code to CSES. Then the code will be compiled and tested using a set of test cases. For each test case, CSES will tell us whether our code passed it or not, and we can also examine the input, the expected output, and the output produced by our code. After testing our code, CSES gives the report. And as shown, out result is accepted. It works fine on all 13 test cases as shown. All the test cases can be seen also now if you submit your same code with type int in front of n as shown. Now there will be wrong answers. This is shown by submitting the code. This means that our code passed some of the test cases and was sometimes too slow, that is, time limit exceeded in case. 6, 7 and 9. And, it also, produced, an incorrect output, that is wrong answer, in case of, 8 and 10. This, is because, at compiled time, the value of n, exceeds, the upper limit, of it, and thus, we get, wrong answer. The first, test case, that fails, has n is equal to 138,367. If we test our code locally using this input, it turns out that the code is indeed slow. In fact, it never terminates. The reason why our code fails is that n can become quite large during the compile time. In particular, it can become larger than the upper limit of an int variable. To fix the problem, we have to change our code by changing the type of n to long long. Then we will get the desired result. As this example shows, even very simple algorithms may contain some errors. So note this point, it is very important. Competitive programming teaches how to write algorithms that really work. I hope you must have understood the topic. I will provide you 
with more such important questions and concepts in upcoming videos. So, if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel and do share it with your friends. Thank you. Bye bye. Friends, please hit the subscribe button for more upcoming videos. And to share it with your friends. Goodbye, from your friend Tectoon.